Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's Paul Wooten here. Today we're going to have a Wagon Wednesday episode. This is going to be the Jack Hammer. You know, it first came out in the Acceleracers uh, series early on. A lot of the Acceleracer cars are uh, still worth quite a bit of money today. Um, collectors didn't take them very seriously in the beginning because it was related to a um, cartoon type deal. And... So they come and gone, and now people are chasing them. So this particular uh, casting, I have every variation that I know of. There may be some wheel or base or some other variations that, that have been produced, but I'm not going after any more of them. I have got one sample of every one that's listed on uh, the guides that I know of. So let's go ahead and get into um, each one, and just a note that None of these ever came in the main line. They did come in some subsets uh, from Walmart, like a Christmas subset. Uh, I think there was a Mardi Gras. Um, we'll cover those as we go through. Well, we're going to talk about the casting a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm going to use this one particular one. This is a custom I did way back in the very beginning out of the, uh, the first time it was released with the acceleration wheels love these wheels um wish they would come back with them some of my favorite wheels of all time that and the cold modes so let's put that in the background we'll talk more about that we're gonna pull this one here that came out from the latest uh holiday cars christmas uh 20 2018 but uh, a lot of you guys like to see inside these cars so i like to take them apart so you don't have to so you can see what they're made of so basically this is an all plastic body and yes even whenever i drill out a plastic car that i plan on using i do center um drill it and then remove it so then you have the small window not much of a window on that then we'll get the interior the big old big old engine up front space age interior all kinds of uh <laughs> maybe ghostbuster type um equipment in the back don't really know what each thing is some type of fancy exhaust system but and then the base the base is really heavy um that's what made this car a pretty good track car back in the day um that's what they were was to race and uh, this one probably wouldn't run as well as the original um, acceleration, but we're going to put this one to the side. And we'll keep this, uh, this custom. Take a look at it. So I basically uh, took one apart, repainted it, uh, made it look like a Chevy Nomad. Uh, filled in the roof. Looks like I got a little, it's been a long time, so it kind of, some of the didn't recess real well but hey it is what it is it sold some this is i did this back in 2005 so i think this custom has actually held up pretty good um did some detailing on it uh made it look pretty cool so we'll get through all that crazy stuff and we'll start with the very first one that ever come out was the metal maniacs the Metal Maniacs were my favorite. They had quite a few really cool muscle style um, cars in it. But this wagon was a hit with me right off the bat. This was really the beginning of the wagons really in Hot Wheels. Other than the 55 uh, Nomad. The uh, different names that it came by. But um, this is kind of one of the earlier wagons that were put out by Hot Wheels and I was hooked along with the 8th grade of course around that same time uh, so that's the Metal Maniacs there might have been a wheel variation on this one I can't tell by my notes here maybe a little difference in the tampo but hey we're not keeping up with all that so the second one came out in the Acceleracer uh, Realms I believe it was a multi-pack it also had the different style um it was like clear acceleration wheels get a closer look at that look at the paint it's a little dirty on top but this one's been around a while this one 
come out um, around that same time. And I think it was a three pack, maybe. So then we have a this next one's a three pack. Um, it's called the Ultimate Racers three pack. So this one's another one that had the acceleration wheels on it with the red trim. See, they did that red trim a while back. Like they do now in a lot of the main lines. But uh, this guy right here is really nice. If you guys don't uh, have much respect for this casting, you ought to look into it. It's a pretty cool casting, even though it's all plastic. But it is, I think it's pretty, pretty badass. So then we get into the Mardi Gras. This came out in the Mardi Gras um, release. This gold with the red flames, green flames going up the side. Very awesome model. Um, so that was probably, that was a $2. I don't know if that was a dollar fifty car or if that was the two twenty five car i can't remember they've changed that prices on those uh specialty uh walmart cars over the years so many times i can't keep up with them so then we've got a hard this is the hardest one this is the last one that i was able to find it came in a five pack um i ended up having to buy this one separately i think i got about 10 bucks in it it's all said and done, but it was the last one I had, and I'm like, I got to get this one no matter what it cost me. And I have seen some others on eBay and online, and they've been played with pretty bad. And this one has a little bit of wear on the front um, wheels, but overall, it's a very good sample of this. And it came from the Trick, tr wait, Trick Tracks Backbone Slide playset. I was wrong. It didn't come from a, a five-pack. It came from a playset. Uh, sorry for that misinformation, but that's another reason it makes it really hard to get. <laughs> when they stick these things in play sets back in 2008, you know, you just got to wish that somebody um, cleans out a toy box and puts them on <laughs> online and tries to sell them. So there you go. So the next one is from the Demolition Derby 5-pack. That one is a 5-pack car. Demolition Derby 5-pack. So, you know, do you buy one car in a 5-pack or do you try to source it loose? I think this one here I went and chased after this one and probably paid $5 and change for it. Um, they kind of got a little cheap on the... It's still got a metal base, of course, with the plastic body. So then the next one we got is a, another demolition derby five pack car and this one here is really cool it's got the big o1 on the side there and that came out in 2012 uh, i'm not sure about what all the graphics is on the outside somebody may know the designers like to put easter eggs on these cars and uh surprise you but that's another sweet um piece as well the next one is from the attack pack five pack I'll say that two or three times attack pack five pack <laughs> got the 68 on the side hot wheels got some caution stripes some checkered flag stripes there same on the back nothing fancy on the inside but they did change up the interior a little bit on this one Got, they must have made it a two-piece interior now because you got the dash. Um, it's red. The wheels, I mean, the, excuse me, the seats are red. And then the other engine components are flat gray. With the mixed match wheels, of course. Something they started doing. Used to be that was a that was an error everybody looked for. So, what do we got next? got four cars left back in this set so this next one was my second hardest one to find it actually came from what they called the track stars um i know my 
should just zoom out, but the way I got it set up, it's close. But uh, it came with these really cool honeycomb wheels. They were very, they look thick on the picture, but they are very thin. They're like the front tires of a dragster. So we've got this one, which cost me quite a bit on. If you look at the uh, honeycomb wheels, um, let's look at the body real quick. My thumb's out of the way. It's got like a metal chrome. So if we look at the wheels on the other side, look, look how thin those are. And they say these were pretty fast on the track. Uh, I've never raced them. Um, I just cracked this one open for the video. Um, wanted to keep everything close up so I didn't pan out so we could uh, see it all. But there's a whole lot of international um, stuff on the back of this. Uh, looks like it came out of Ontario. So, I don't know if this was released in the U.S. or not, but that's what we got. But that one is pretty awesome. Well, they're all awesome to me. Um, so, then we had another Demolition Derby 5-pack release. This one's a little bit more recent. Um, 2015, uh, that one was pretty cool. It's got your, uh, I guess all the X's on the side or how many times he's, uh, run into another vehicle or something. The 533, I don't know if that stands for anything specific. Uh, all one color. Then we got the Stunt Circuit 5-pack. See, all these were five packs, track sets, um, subsets to Walmart. So, I bet without any any doubt, probably got upwards of probably 75 bucks in this whole entire um, collection of these uh, jackhammers. Uh, it's got the 66 on the back. Got some type of little symbols on there red white and blue but yeah you could it could set you back trying to, to find all these luckily i kept up with them as they went and only had missed two of them that that play set and then that one that was out of country i guess the track stars with the bigger bigger card on it and last but not least, we always saw it. It was taken apart in the beginning of the video. This was a, um, they call it a winter 2018 Christmas set, what have you. Um, they did a really good job with it. Uh, it's a pearl metallic color. Uh, red, it's got some red chrome on the inside that's from the windshield metal base on every one of these they could there's no way they're going to swap this to a metal body plastic base so it's been a few years since it's been out 2018 um hope they keep on uh releasing it it won't hurt my feelings but um let's uh kind of pan out a little bit tell me which one you like the most um so many of them I'm going to put them back in my display case. Go back a little bit more. So, yeah. I would say that my favorites are probably the original first one, the, the Metal Maniacs. And probably this one would be my second favorite. Go back in a little bit. And then, tell me what you guys think about this this custom that I did years ago. Made it into like a Nomad. Uh, put the chrome accents. Took it all apart. Filled in the roof. Probably do another one. Just to kind of freshen this one up. Maybe do a little different paint job. But uh, let me know down below which ones you like of these. And if anybody else out there has all of these variations. And if there is another variation, don't show it to me. <laughs> unless it's a different paint job 
I'm not really going to go after anything with a ver base variation or maybe a slight tempo variation, which I do think there is one in this this one here. I think there was a little different shade of color in the flame, but I'm really not going to go um, nuts over that. I believe this is complete. <laughs> That's why I try to do these videos when I get them all. That way no one has to go chase them or, or anything like that. And then I have to redo the video. But I appreciate you guys checking in with me um, and watching this video this Wacky Wednesday. I'm going to try to do them more often. Uh, may not always be on a Wednesday, but in the future it doesn't really matter. When people watch it, it could be any day of the week. But, uh, yippers. They might change in my uh, name of the channel as well. Just kind of come up with some ideas. Maybe for the future, kind of spread out a little bit. But appreciate everything. We'll see you in the next one.